Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Well, uh, today we're going to address a subscriber request and the question that I received was why I always use Control delete when I get rid of vertices and edges, okay? Well, I'll show you. Here we go. Hi guys, well, we're in uh, Maya 2018 and let's start off by creating a simple cube, okay? So I'm going to hit my uh, spacebar and go to create polygon primitives and cube and there you have it. And what I'm going to do is add a little bit of subdivision, okay? So I'm going to hit Control A to open up my attribute editor. We're going to go in and I'm going to set my subdivision level to two by two by two. And, and there we go. All right, so first let's start off with faces. So we're going to talk about faces, edges, and vertices, okay? If I want to delete a face, I can right click, go to face, select the face and hit delete, like so. Hit Control C to go back. However, if I'm in face mode, you can see that when I hover with my mouse over my object, I automatically select uh, faces without clicking on them, okay? So I can basically just hover over and hit the delete key, which speeds up my workflow quite a bit, okay? Let's go back, Control C. Now that's the easy one, but what if we want to delete edges, okay? We're gonna right click, we're gonna go to edge mode, Let's say we want to select this one and shift select that one and hit delete. All right, so what happens right now, if we zoom in and we select, you can see that instead of having one edge crossing this cube here, we've got two separate ones. And if we right click the vertex, you can see that there's a vertex in the middle. Now, um, that is not an acceptable situation because that basically creates an n-gon, okay? And an n-gon is a surface with more than four faces, uh, four edges, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control Z to go back. And instead, we're gonna hold down Control and hit Delete. And when we do that and we hover over it in edge mode, you will see that we now have one solid edge with no floating vertex, okay? Now I'm using Control uh, Delete for that. You can do uh, Control Backspace as well. And that's the shortcut, but there's also a menu, and I believe it's up here under Mesh. I'm always looking for that. I typically use the uh, the shortcut. Uh, let's see, it's under Edit Mesh, Delete and Edge Vertices. And as you can see, Control and Delete, okay? Now, that means that if you uh, hit delete instead of control delete, you will have a uh, mesh and a topology that's not clean, okay? So let's uh, go back, we're gonna hit control Z, and I'll show you another example. Let's say I wanna get rid of this edge right here. Select one, shift select the other, and hit delete. What you will see is that you end up with something that looks very weird, because you see odd shading going on and so forth, and that is an edge that this object needs to hold itself together, all right? And again, if I right click and go to vertex, you see that I got vertices in places where there shouldn't be vertices, okay? So we're gonna hit Control Z to go back and I'll show you what happens if we do it properly. So we've got that edge selected, we're gonna hold down Control and hit Delete. And as you can see, a huge change. The object changed completely, all right? So be aware that when you need to delete uh, edges and vertices, you need to do that by holding uh, control and delete unless you want to have floating vertices on purpose, okay? Well, that's all there's to it, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hit like if you did. Uh, if you wanna see more videos in the future, don't forget to subscribe. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.